they're off. Bombay is an Negra. Breaks out on top and angles over toward the inside. Here comes Baby Quinn for the outside post, racing up to get a forward spot as well. Heaven Street is tucked away third toward the rail. Sees the Knight is racing up into fourth. Tis the Bomb is back to be fifth. Just call Ray down inside of Tejano Twist. They're together five lengths off the lead. And out sprinted so far is Zip It Scotty. Baby Quinn has come on to put a nose in front of La Belleza Negra, who tries to keep pace. Evan Street is not far behind third and getting closer. And Seize the Night is there with a wide run. Tejano Twist is in behind with Just Call Ray. Off the turn into the stretch. Baby Quinn short lead. Heaven Street trying to get on track. A bit green on the outside. Sees the night is there. La Baeza Negra fights on toward the rail. Tejano Twist and Just Call Ray. 16th pole. Baby Quinn still in front. Sees the Knights finding stride late in the game. La Baeza Negra toward the inside. These three to the wire. It's going to be close. It's going to be a photo. Sees the night. Might have got there, but it's tight with Baby Quinn. La Baeza Negra was third. And Tejano Twist was fourth. We'll complete the line. They're at post. And race four by, sponsored by Run Happy at Ellis Park is underway. Slow beginning for Loon Shot with stable mate Tiz the Bomb. Broke fast. So it's Tiz the Bomb who leads the charge for the backstretch run. It's Zip it Scotty away in the second position. Three wide comes Rothgar. Down on the inside, Eli is away in the fourth position. This quartet is about seven or eight in front of Bourbon on fire, who settles along in fifth, three in front of slow starting Loon Shot, who is out at the back of the pack a dozen links top to bottom as they head up the backside with five and one half furlongs to go. The quarter, moderate, 23 and three. It's Tiz the Bomb, and Brian Hernandez trying to dole out the fractions here. Zip it, Scotty will try to apply the heat to the outside in second. Now, Rothgar on debut is third. Eli, the son of Keen Ice, down on the inside from fourth. Bourbon on fire, content to track him from fifth. He's closing in now. He's only about six links off the lead. So four back to Loonshot is being called upon by Robbie. Out at the back of the pack, half mile, 47 and two. Tis the bomb, blazes along up top, shows him by two and a half lengths. Zip it, Scotty is being shoved upon to go after that pace setter, but he's back into second. Here's Bourbon on fire, tips out in a three path, closing into the outside now of Zip it, Scotty. Eli still racing into fourth position. Loonshot's underway, and that makes Robbie. Car, the trailer top of the home stretch, three sixteenths of a mile to go, three quarters controlled, one twelve and one, and tis the bomb and a dollar to display here by the furlong grounds. Opening up with the authority inside the final furlong is in front by nine by ten. Brian's looking back for competition, but there's nothing but air between he and Bird on fire as tis the bomb on the stretch out as impressive as a two year old can be. Tis the Bomb obliges at three to five, won by over a dozen lengths. Bourbon on Fire was second, Zip It Scotty was third, and Loon Shot was fourth in 137 and one. Off in the Kentucky Downs Juvenile Mile. Play action pass comes out running on the lead, right alongside of No Balls, and then it's Long Shadow away running in third behind them. Call Me Gusto broke fourth and is down on the inside. Being followed by Tis the Bomb on the far outside. And moving in between horses there is on thin ice. Kiss the Sky is down toward the inside. Followed by Red Run. Break of another two links more back to the two trailers who are Fan the Fire and Rumble Strip Run. So less than six furlongs to go here. They make their way into that downhill run and they're led by Long Shadow. Long Shadow has now lost the lead. And on the inside, it's Call Me Gusto right there with play action pass stride for stride up front then it's long shadow running in third two and a half links off of them no balls fourth on the outside break of another five links more and beginning to move is on thin ice and right alongside tis the bomb as they make their way around the turn with about three furlongs left here now play action pass has grabbed the front as they come toward the top of the stretch and opens up to lead by a length and a half Call me Gusto on the inside second. No balls is third and moving on the outside as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Long Shadow is after that. Then comes On Thin Ice. And on the extreme outside, it is Kiss the Sky. So they've got three sixteenths of a mile to run here. Play action pass is the one to catch. And now moving on the outside, here comes Kiss the Sky. No balls in between those two. And coming up the fence is Tis the Bomb. And they're coming to the wire. And it will be a photo finish. And it's Tis the Bomb to beat Kiss the Sky. And then it was play action pass and Red Run.
Like we got a gate break there. Is that the 12? It's an important one, too. Yeah, it is the bomb. The favorite has broken through the starting gate. And they're off in the Castle and Key Bourbon Stakes. Stolen base. Dow Jack Chief both have early speed. Martini and Moonshine is right there, a close third. Here comes Heaven Street. Heaven Street moves up. Play action pass moves up as well on the outside. Credibility is close down toward the inside. Tis the bomb comes away running in the fifth position, but Heaven Street the leader. Heaven Street clears. The inside traffic starts to angle down to the inside right next to the rail and leads it by a length and a half. And is followed closely by play action pass in second. Dow Jack Chief third. Tis the bomb fourth red danger fifth on the outside credibility back there in the sixth position wait a minute Hayes is a wide seventh fast and steady is in eighth martini and moonshine ninth rocket one is in tenth up the back stretch stolen base is now back in the 11th spot on thin ice is in 12th Brits with is 13th lucky boss last of the 14 22.94 at the quarter 47.54 seconds for the opening half mile heaven street is the leader for Ricardo Santana Jr. Junior, three quarters of a length play action pass draws a lot. Tis the bomb wins it from stolen base home second. One minute 43.69 seconds in the castle and key bourbon. And they're all in line. They're off of the juvenile turf. And it's Dakota Gold who breaks sharply from the inside. Slipstream is up and on the pace. Portfolio company goes up and then tis the bomb. Farther out and moving up now is Coinage and Coinage will confront Portfolio Company and these two will take them into the turn. Their 1-2 Dubawi legend is now moving up on the outside. Dakota Gold is down toward the rail, racing three and a half lengths off the lead. Then Modern Games on the inside of Glomthon, Grafton Street to the outside of them. Break of another two to Slipstream. They're being followed on the far outside by credibility, and in between those two is stolen bases. They head to the back stretch. Then back to McKinnon, Tis the Bomb, and Great Max at the back of the pack. 22.66 that opening quarter mile. Portfolio Company, the leader. Coinage is three quarters of a length behind, running in second, Dakota Gold, to Bowie Legend, and outside of them it's Grafton Street. Modern Gains has five lengths to make up. Clown Fawns alongside, and then comes Credibility, followed by Slipstream, Stolen Base, and McKinnon. Tis the bomb and great max. It is Portfolio Company and Coinage taking them around the far turn. One, two. These two with Grafton Street coming three wide after them. Then Dubawi Legend in behind horses. Dakota Gold on the inside. Modern Gaines is now moving on the far outside. He's kicked it in and he's closing down the center of the course with one furlong to run. Grafton Street to catch. Modern Gaines on the outside. Closing that gap. Dakota Gold and Slipstreamer next, but it's Modern Gaines. Modern Games will win the juvenile turf under the wire clear. Tis the bomb came flying late. Then came McKinnon, followed by Grafton Street and Dakota Gold. Racing in the Holy Bull and simplification was off slow. From the rail, Galt comes out firing. The gray white of Barrio working over from the high draw. They land 1-2 from Cajun's Magic, who's down at the inside, while third up on the outside, Giant Games striding forward into fourth ahead of race favorite Mo Donegal. Then back mid-flight for Tiz the Bomb. He's three wide at this stage. Outside of him in simplification, who blew the start. Second last is Eloquist, and the trailer is Spin Wheel. Field separated by eight lengths as they complete an opening quarter behind Galt, who settled in up front. He leads three parts of a leg. White Barrio flanks him and races from second. Two and a half clear of Giant Game, who's now up into third. At the rail, Cajun's Magic is there. Fourth is Mo Donegal angles to the clear. Tis the Bomb is in the clear already outside of him in simplification. Eloquist is toward the rail and still held up at the back. His spin wheeled. The quarter time was 23 and 4. They race to the half mile point. It's still Galt in front. He leads a half a length after a 47 and 1 half mile. From the outside, White Abarrios had a good trip. He's racing in second. Cajun's Magic is together with Giant Game third and fourth. Up to the outside, Simplification has Mo Donegal bottled up. Three back to Spin Wheel, who gets started outside of Tis the Bomb. Eloquist drops the last as they round the far turn. They race to the first finish line here with White Abario now even with Galt at the 5 16s. From the outside, Simplification is next. Giant Game not firing his fastball today. Mo Donegal's going to need to do a ton better than that. He's warming to the task, but he's Six lengths off the lead, and that lead is held by White Abario. Off the turn on the stretch drive, White Abario working with the short stretch. He's three on top. Simplification is running a huge race. He's up on the outside trying to get into second, but the Holy Bull goes to White Abario with authority. He wins by five in the end. Close then for second. 
Mo Donegal or Simplification, Galt is fourth, and Cajun's Magic to complete your high five. Tienes el John Bataglia Memorial del 2022 en Torquay Park. Que recibió de 10 puntos al Kentucky Derby. Partieron en el John Bataglia Memorial del año 2022. Se viene la belleza negra por la parte interior a dominar. En el segundo corre Iréis. En el tercero intenta acomodarse Blue Line. En el cuarto por la parte exterior de la cancha lo hace Grail. En el quinto pegado a la baranda muy contenido corre Golden Eye. Posteriormente corre el Legendary Lortis de Bomb. Más atrás lo hace el ejemplar Stolen Base pegado a la baranda interior de la cancha. Posteriormente intenta moverse Rick Strike junto con el caballo Onting Nice. También intenta moverse el caballo OP Fight Racker por la parte exterior de la cancha. 23-4, el primer cuarto de milla era el John Bataglia Memorial del 2022. Domina Erase, el número 8. La belleza negra corre en el segundo. En el tercero, Grail. En el cuarto, Blue Line. En el quinto, intenta moverse Golden Eye por la parte interior. En el sexto, corre el Legendary Lord. Posteriormente, intenta acercarse Tis de Bond por la parte exterior de la cancha junto con Stolen Base. En 48 con 18, la marca para la media milla. Se mantiene Erase con Ryan Kelberry en la primera colocación. En el segundo, corre la belleza negra. En el tercero, Grail. En el cuarto, por la parte interior, Blue Line. Y se la Lanza Tis de Bomba por la parte exterior. También intenta acercarse Stolen Base por la parte interior de la cancha en 72-2. Los 1200 se lanza Tis de Bomba y la belleza negra en busca de Race que está dominando cuando ya están eh, en el tope de la recta en el John Battle Memorial del 2022. Tis de Bomba por la parte exterior. Pasó a dominar. Se viene metiendo el ejemplar Stolen Bay por la parte central. Insiste Race. Intenta caer Rayel por la parte exterior. Se viene Stolen Base en busca de Tis de Bomb que domina valientemente. Stolen Base a la carga, pero no llegó. Ganó Tis de Bomb en el segundo Stolen Base. En el tercero entró Grahel y cuarto Rick Strike en 104 con 12. Los 1700 metros. Tis de Bomb. El pupilo de Kenan McPhee con Alex Achard. Jeff Ruby Stakes Field, just about set for a start. Swing shift backing out. Now, just about in. Locked up, they are at the post. And they are racing it in the 51st running of the Jeff Ruby Stakes. Good beginning for all, quick start from the outside for swing shift. Also, great escape is flashing speed. And from between those two, as expected, Dallajack Chief is for the place. Tawny Port came away racing in the fourth position. Cabo Spirit is fifth early. Tis the bomb hovers to the outside of that one in six as they take on the first turn. Stolen base from between horses towards his inside is Royal Spirit. A link for the back to Red Run, who's about two or three in front of Constitutional Lawyer. And Rich Strike is last of them all. They work around the turn with six furlongs to go. The first quarter of the Ruby was 23 and one. The leader, Dalla Jack Cheek, just from swing shift. Down on the inside, great escape is third as they continue to run up the backside. Deep on the course, there goes Tiz the Bomb to engage from the extreme outside. It is Tawny Port. In between horses, sandwiches, Optigogo down along the inside. Royal Spirit is next, a half mile, 47 seconds flat. The leader still, Dalla Jack Chief and James Graham show the way a length and a half to swing shift. From between horses, Cabo Spirit to the inside. There goes Tiz the Bomb, who blasts up to the outside of Tawny Port. Those two moving together as a half mile, 47 seconds flat, just outside. A quarter to go here in the Ruby, three quarters, 11 in one, and they stack up three deep, and Tawny Port comes calling for the lead. Dalla Jack Chief is being implored for some speed. Tis the bomb to the outside in third, and Stolen Base has kicked it into gear. He's going to kick wide for the drive, top of the home stretch of the Jeff Ruby. And Tis the bomb forging to the front. Tawny Port under a full out drive to the inside in second. Up the inside, still fighting on Dalla Jack Chief, late on the seat, down the center comes Opti Go Go, 116 to go. Tis the bomb is still there. Tis the bomb indeed. Winch wrapped up the end by almost two and a half. Tawny Port was second. The running time for Tis the bomb, 148 and three. And Tis the bomb, a perfect two for two on the synthetic as he sizzles in the ruby. A five-star performance from Tis the bomb for Brian Hernandez, Magdalena Racing, and Kenny McPeak.